Hi, welcome back to my channel, Kristen Cooks. I'm Kristen, and today I wanted to redo a video that I did previously. It was for tuna noodle, tuna noodle casserole. Um, this time I wanted to do it from, from scratch instead of using soup from a can. So um, let's go in the kitchen and get going. Okay, to start with, I have um, some white mushrooms that I'm going to open and take a damp paper towel and just wipe them down quickly. I'm not trying to be perfect about it, just get some of that dirt off. And then I'm going to slice the mushrooms and then go back through and mince them up um, with my knife. Just like this. It looks like a lot of mushrooms, but it's they'll cook down a lot. Um, this is optional. You can add in some minced garlic and then I'm putting uh, two tablespoons of butter into a deep-sided pan like this. And then I'm going to put in the minced garlic and let those two um, warm up together and the garlic will inf infuse the butter. Um, so now time to throw in some egg noodles to this boiling water. There it is. Um, I also salted this water too. Make sure that we don't have anything bland. So now while the noodles are cooking, I'm going to start sauteing the mushrooms. Just adding in the mushrooms to the pan and then um, shredding up some Colby Jack cheese. I used about two cups, I think, in this recipe. So after the mushrooms start cooking down a little bit, then I'll season them a little bit with salt and pepper and um, some thyme, some ground thyme. Works well together. And then just for a little history of tuna noodle casserole, it was created by the Campbell Soup Company back in the 1940s, but it can be traced all the way back to the late 1800s with a dish called cod a la bechamel. Um, the original recipe did not have um, noodles or peas. I don't put peas in mine, FYI, but I guess people do. Um, and it originally was just creamed soup, canned fish or meat, and a crunchy topping like potato chips. And then later on, as this recipe kind of evolved through people's um, experimenting and cooking, cooking it, then noodles and peas were added. Um, and the late 1950s were the heyday for this casserole. Okay, so um, I built a roux using three, I had three tablespoons of butter all together, and then I used two to th three tablespoons of flour and I mixed all that together and then um, let it cook for a little bit, that flour, and then I added in about two and a half cups of chicken stock and whole milk. And we're caught up to right, right now, right here in the video. And I just seasoned it with a little bit more thyme and salt and pepper, taste testing it. Um, of course it needs more salt, <laughs> just a little bit. A little garlic salt too. And then pepper. And by now it should be good to go. I think I have the seasoning pretty good. Yes. Okay, time to drain the noodles. Also, I was thinking if you didn't, if you don't care for tuna, you could also use canned chicken too. That would work well. Okay, and then um, I preheated the oven to 350, or excuse me, 400. And um, all you're gonna do is just um, warm it up all together and melt the cheese and it'll be ready. So I like to cook it kind of hot. Um, so.
Okay, so hmm, I was just watching my footage back to see if I needed to add anything or redo anything, you know, and I realized I didn't put the tuna in the tuna casserole. <laughs> so I grabbed it out of the oven real quick. It wasn't in there that long so far, thank goodness. And I scraped the cheese off the top. Oh my God. And <sighs> Okay, tuna. Perfect. It'll be just the same. And I, I like to put in a can of um, drained green beans. So now it's warm. Thankfully it wasn't in the oven for that long. Wow. Good job, Kristen. But you know, mistakes like this happen all the time in the kitchen and you can fix it and nobody will know and you know, I'm the only one that's gonna eat this casserole anyway because you know, my family doesn't like tuna casserole. So I'm just doing this for myself. So it's okay. The future me won't mind when this is done and it's time to eat. Thankfully I caught it and no one will be the wiser except for you, but I, I know you won't tell anybody, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so mistakes happen it's okay okay there fixed that's all it took so now I'm going to put the cheese back on and now it's not gonna be like perfect but it's okay it will work it'll still be wonderful and good Okay, so now that my problem is fixed, I will put this back in the oven until it's heated through and all this cheese is melted. So like um, 10 to 15 more minutes. It's done. It smells great. It looks great. You can't even tell that I made those boo-boos. <laughs> um, I like to eat it with Lay's potato chips, just the classic on top, and sour cream. I love sour cream. Um, so a lot of times in recipes, you'll see the, the Lay's crumbled on top and then you put it in the oven and you can do that. Of course you can, but um, I don't want my chips to get soggy. So I just tend to just um, crush them on top as I eat through the casserole. And I think it's just better that way. I just don't want soggy chips either. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to plate this up for myself. I am the only one home right now, so I can do a nice taste testing and yeah you don't have to do a voiceover for it so it's nice and hot i'll get a towel to hold on to the edge Ooh, look how pretty that looks it looks so good i just take a couple scoops like this put it in my bowl to get a spoon rest Put that there. Let me get a spoon for the sour cream. And then I'll put just a little bit like that on the top-ish. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more because I like sour cream. Like that, take my chips. Take a nice little handful and crush it over the top, just like that. And of course, make a mess on the, on the stove that I just cleaned up. Put that to the side. See, it's perfect, just like that. Taste test time. Okay, it's time to test this out. You know, it seems like with um, tuna noodle casserole, it's like 
people love it or they hate it. Like there's no in between. I said this before in my other video, but I just, it's like one or the other, you know? <laughs> and I used to, you know, we had this every Friday growing up uh, for Good Friday, but um, that's long gone. We don't do that anymore. Um, so yeah, it's just a really affordable way to get your tuna casserole on, I guess. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the canned soup works just fine. I've done it like that for years, but um, my cooking skills have improved. And so now I think this is a much better way to make tuna casserole is to do the soup yourself instead of um, getting it in, in a can. So let's take a bite here. See how wonderful that looks. Get it from my face so you can see it. Mm -mm. Yes, I am going to add just a little bit of pepper. This comes out really fast, so I always really need to be careful. But I got the seasoning right. There's enough salt. The thyme really um, goes well with the mushrooms. And I love the crunch that you get from the chips. Mm hmm It's so good. This is comfort food to me for sure. So, um, I didn't follow a recipe for this. You know, I just made it up as I went along. So, I'll list everything in the description box below. Um, give this a try if you like um, tuna casserole. It's really easy to do it yourself and um, it just tastes so much better. Um, let's see. So yeah, um, weather is finally getting nice out. It is beautiful outside. It's so nice to see the sun again. Like it's, we're ready for uh, nicer weather for sure. Um, so if you like my content, give me a thumbs up, please. Um, subscribe, press that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Um, I do like about four videos a week. I'd like to do five. I mean, like that would be ideal, but it doesn't always work out that way. But I definitely get three, um, you know, pretty much four videos a week. Um, and I just kind of upload at different times. I upload it when I'm ready and I just don't have a set time for that. But um, I do vid new videos all the time. I like to do cooking. I am, I'm a mother of four. I mean, <laughs> I have two kids. I have a family of four, okay? Um, and I like to cook. This is where I'm most comfortable and I have fun. I enjoy cooking for others and I like sharing everything that I've learned with you. It's fun for me. So um, just uh, keep coming back to my channel. Um, leave me a comment if you want. I like to look through my comments and answer back or you know, just have um, some conversation. So um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna do one more tomorrow. The, today's Thursday, I'm gonna do one more for tomorrow. Possibly get it up tomorrow night, but maybe probably Saturday I'll get it up. But um, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great St. Patrick's Day. And um, bye.